Now that we have our audio cut up and we have our sound bites down, before we start adding other video, we kind of need to look at trimming and how to trim in this program. The reason being is, is that there's some trimming I need to do to be able to tighten up the audio here and make sure that everything flows correctly. So that way, when I'm adding my B-roll, that video that goes over the commentator that just kind of covers her voice and hopefully makes some sense while it's doing it, it enables you to be able to have that be very tight and not have to worry about trimming that along with the audio that's sitting underneath it. So the first thing we're going to do here is, is we're going to take a look. I'm going to go into a little bit closer view here of one second, and I'm going to take a look and see if there's any little spots here that I need to be able to trim. Now let's listen right here. United States. They got engineered. That actually was pretty tight. Let's listen to the next one. 1902. Today the only... Okay, that one also was pretty tight. That was pretty good. Let's listen to the next transition here. 1959. Uh, this is... Now see, that one was a tad bit too much of blank space there. So I'm going to teach you how to do it with the mouse and how to do it with the keyboard. To do it with the mouse is very simple. See that bracket right there, that orange bracket that's just pointing to the left? That means that my mouse is over the end of the clip. If I go too far and get more towards the middle, you'll notice now I'm going to be able to do a rolling edit here because it's going to lengthen one clip and shorten the other one. And that's not necessarily what I want to do here. All I want to do is shorten one clip. So, taking the mouse, getting to where I see that first orange bracket, I hold down the left mouse button, and I can pull it back. And see, as I start to pull it back, I can sit there and see, okay, am I going to come too far back on it or whatnot? And obviously, it's a little bit too close to use the mouse. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, with my left arrow key, I'm just going to bring it back two or three frames right there. And now, I can trim it with the keyboard. Oh, i got to select the clip first, sorry. If I hit the M as in Michael key, You'll see that it trimmed it, but there's a little gap in there. And if I don't take care of that gap, then what's going to happen is I'm going to have a flash of black sitting in there. So obviously I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to hit Control Z. And this time I'm going to hold down the Alt key while I tap the M as in Michael key and watch what happens. It trims it and it brings everything else right back to where, as you can see, there's no gap sitting in here and it's ready to play. So let's see if that's a little tighter. In 1959. Uh, this is one behind. Yep, yeah, see, that's a lot tighter right there. Let's say on the way out. He is one of the originals. In 1983. I wanted to hear more of what he had to say on that, and I just clipped him. This is just too short. Once again, if I go to the end of the clip to where I see that bracket, that single bracket that's showing me that I'm at the end, I can hold it out, and as I start to pull it out, do you see how I see the waveform down there? And I can kind of go, you know what, right there I think is where, I, let's see what he says right here and, and how that ends. One behind me is one of the originals that, that they started with. In 1983. There we go, right there. And you know what, I might want to bring it out just a tad bit longer because it was a little bit quick. And so I'm just going to do a little bit more of the dead space right there after he talked. That they started with. In 1983. There we go, that seemed a little more natural right there. So as you can see, I can trim the ends and the beginnings with the mouse or with the keyboard. And if I'm going to trim the end point, in other words, from the cursor to the left, I use the N as in Nancy key. And if I'm going to trim the out point, meaning from the cursor to the right, I use the M as in Michael key. And if I want it to ripple, I just hold down the Alt key while it's done. Now, some of the other type of trimming that we are going to do. What about like a J and an L cut? He's talking here about the fact that they were saving the electrical motors, but she says his name afterwards, so I want to pull it out over. So let's see what happens. Oh, so the water couldn't get into the windings of the motors and ruin them. Greg Lewis was working part-time at the... Okay, Greg Lewis was working part-time. So I'm going to back up my cursor right to there just so I know where I need to go. Now, I don't need to unlink this. This is one of the really cool things about Edius that I absolutely love. And when I first got the version of Edius that had the color bar on each one of the tracks when you're trimming, it was a little confusing. But now that I understand it, it makes perfect sense. If I click on the edge of that clip, you'll notice that there is a color bar here, here, and here. That's telling me that when I move that clip, when I trim it, it's going to do all three of those tracks. What if I don't want to do all three of the tracks? Well, watch how easy this is. If I just want to pull out the video... If I hold down the Alt key and then tap on the edge of the video part of that clip, notice that I have a color bar here but not here. So now when I hold down the left mouse button and pull it out, 
I can pull it out completely and totally by itself without affecting in any way, shape, or form either one of my audio tracks. Now, what it's doing is, is kind of a temporary unlink. And then the minute I click away from it, you'll notice that if I click on the edge of it again, all three show up again. So I never really unlinked my audio and video. I just was able to manipulate one of them. Now, what I'm going to do is control Z this because what I want to do is, is I want to be able to do my video and my natural sound, my audio underneath. So I held down Alt and clicked on the edge of each one of them. And now you see I have a color bar here, a color bar here, but not here. So I just hold down the left mouse button, pull it out. And now I've done kind of a modified J cut. It looks like a U cut because you've got the audio underneath and everything. But I've extended the video while leaving the main audio completely alone. So let's see how it looks. I couldn't get into the windings of the motors and ruin them. Greg Lewis was working part time at the pump house. And there it is. So I can do J cuts. I can do L cuts. I can do that on either the beginning of the clip or the end of the clip. The only thing that has to be is there has to be enough video there to be able to do it with, obviously. But that's how you do a J and an L cut inside of Edius. So we've gone through and we've trimmed using the mouse. We've trimmed using the keyboard. I do want to show you, however, there is a trim mode. If I go up to mode and go into trimming mode, you can see that, yes, there is a trim mode that allows you to nudge. And it allows you to trim either the out point or the in point. It allows you to do a slide trim. It allows you to do a slip trim and do a rolling trim the whole bit. But to tell you the truth, after you've learned like three different keyboard shortcuts, I just never go into it anymore because of the fact that I can do it right on the timeline without having to go in and hit a key to be able to go into a trim mode. But it is there if you need to use it.